Well, do you know, like, what is the cycle called when, like, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly? I don't know. I think the process is, like, called metamorphosis or something. Yeah. I was thinking we could draw out a metamorphosis process but for other animals. Ooh. Okay. So we, we basically get a randomly generated animal, may, mayhap, and then we have to come up with, like, well, we'll draw the animal, and then we'll draw the next two steps of its evolution. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So maybe, like, an incubation step and then like a a step that can fly nice okay so you are you seem to be purposely avoiding the term pokemon for evolution (laughs) i mean we can go ahead and call this pokemon if you want to get that search engine (laughs) optimization going i mean evolving real life animals does have a nice flair to it Mm -hmm. so we kind of could go with that um but we could just have like you know like uh, in terms of like aesthetic we can just make it like realistic, you know, like caterpillar to butterfly. As 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 unrealistic as that is, we won't like Pokemonify it. Okay. Um. Then I guess I need to find a randomizer for random animals. Mm-hmm. And your animal is chicken. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of already has. I mean, it's got the egg form. It's, it's got stages. the chick form, and it's got the chicken form. But now the chicken must evolve. Must metamorphosize. <laughs> okay. Does the chicken return to an egg? Ooh, a second egg form. Unprecedented or is that in nature. Too much? Is it too powerful? <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. Should I draw the chicken just as is? I, mean, I guess you can draw a chicken if you want. I don't know if that would be necessary. It's your approximation of what a chicken would be for reference, I guess. Yeah. Make it quick. We'll just do it for clarity yeah you can make a proper scientific graph with all the proper details then plus it's kind of a drawing animals from memory unless you're using a reference right now nope (laughs) okay good (laughs) i'm kind of (laughs) confused oh is that it's it's leg it looks like it's daintily putting it forward (laughs) and it's got painted nails too (laughs) and then it's got like a little tail or something that's, that's about right. Come on, man. I've, I've played Legend of Zelda. I should know what these things look like. Yeah, they, they've got atomic, anatomically correct chickens everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I guess they are anatomically exactly like chickens. Okay. Some talons in there. Some painted nails, yep. To hark it back to their dinosaur roots. <laughs> yeah. Add some texture line. All right. This very impressive creature. Yes. Is going to become an egg. But... Not any egg. Oh. Because we have to honor by the rule that you become what you eat. Oh, yeah, exactly. And they eat a lot of corn. Yes, they do. Corn seems like a... I don't know the farm industry, but that seems to be the the main source of feed. Yeah, we feed it to everything. Yeah. We feed it to our cars. I don't know if that's a good idea that we do that, but, you know, it happens. Yeah. I mean, corn's a vegetable. It's, uh, it's got to be healthy, right? Vitamins and minerals and nutrients. I don't know, man. When it's all you eat, it might not be so healthy for you. Has anyone really tried an all-corn diet, though? All the cows in America. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have no idea if that's true or not. Don't sue me to Santo, or whatever your name is. M- Mr. Santa. <laughs> Mr. Santa. <laughs> Santa, the keeper of cows and keys of Hogwarts. <laughs> okay, I think there's like a little thing on top. Like a little hairy thing? Yeah. It looks kind of pineapple-y. I wonder if there's something I can do to make it look less pineapple-y. I mean, I guess I, I like the pattern you've got there. Like, the, the thing that makes it look more like corn is the fact that all the kernels are so defined and they're not just, like, ridges like a pineapple mm-hmm. would be. But I like the pattern you've got going here, so I don't want you to change it. M- maybe if I go in with, like, a lighter gray. Ooh, okay. That's looking more corny. Okay. So that's... <laughs> so this corn husk envelops the chicken when it's time <laughs> for it to grow. I don't know if it envelops it or if it slowly coughs up corn kernels all the way around it in like a circle, like, <laughs> it's like one layer at a time. All right, I'm going to try to make this smaller. Like, God, the metamorphosis of a caterpillar into a butterfly is such a bizarre thing in the first place. It really, like, imagine another... Don't give it enough credit. <laughs> imagine another animal just spinning up a shell around itself, turning into goo within the shell and completely uh, transforming into another animal. <laughs> oh yeah like I, as i was saying i don't think we give 
the butterfly and the worm enough credit there are some like really bizarre creatures on earth that we just take for granted yep so it's like a lot of them live in the ocean that's, that's true you, especially as you get deeper and deeper down like that doesn't resemble our surface life at all so it's like it's completely alien to us I think that's where a lot of alien designs come from, right? The deep sea? Yeah, I believe you're right. Probably right. That's where I would get my designs from if I designed aliens. But like, not disregarding ocean life, I think insects as well are just so crazy when you really stop to think about what they can do and how they operate. The fact that they don't really have circulatory systems and their blood just kind of wish washes around in there and yeah. it still works out for them. <laughs> Well, bugs are like natural selection on overdrive. The process of natural natural selection is is always fascinating to me because, but yeah, like for bugs, it's like their lifespans are like a week. So it's like there's there's one that doesn't even have a di- digestive tract because it mates and copulates like and like you know passes on its genes before it needs to digest food. Wow, that is <laughs> I forget which one that absurd. is, but it's pretty incredible. But if you think about it, if they create a new generation every week. They could go through thousands of generations in a decade, and that's, you know, for humans, that would take thousands and thousands of years. And they, they could just do that so quick it's, and, and just transform into whatever they feel like just because. I need some input from you. What should I make this third evolution be? Okay, so going by butterfly standards, it needs to have a very, very small chicken base, but... <laughs> it needs to be like 80% new features completely devoid of being a chicken. Okay. I think I can do that. Cause it, like the way I'm thinking of it is like butterfly. They've got that little, little bitty insect body. That's just the smallest portion of it. That's kind of like what remains of the caterpillar in my mind. And then the wings are just like, that's it. That's, that's so much new. Okay. So you've got the, the chicken, the chicken face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm really excited just seeing the chicken face and knowing <laughs> what guidelines have I have already given. Twenty <laughs> percent. So eighty percent. Everything else has to be new. <laughs> yes, brand new. Oh, it's a it's a bowling pin. Okay, it's got the bowling pin stripes. It's not actually a bowling pin, but that is what it's known for. No, all you got to do is just put the Brunswick logo on there, and you're good. Um. And then I maybe it gets like some kind of uh how what's an animal that flies but by some less conventional means? Oh, that's a good question. What does fly by less conventional means? Does anything? And yeah, some things can fly or float or uses something that's not wings. Probably can, but I can't think of anything. Uh, my brain is short circuiting. If so, okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm like in this shape. It's very odd. <laughs> Which means it can only be good. Is that is that corn? <laughs> yes. It's got it's a bowling pin with corn hands. Okay. Okay. That is exactly what a chicken would evolve into, or sorry, metamorphosize <laughs> into. Yeah, and that little hairy thing on top of the corn mm-hmm. forms a rope. So it's and it, I'm going to need it Spider Man's its way around <laughs> rather quite. than flying. Okay. All right. So it's not Spider Man its way around. What's it doing then? What is all this? It's a parachute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it now. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, if you like shaded in like the the under parts of it, it would be a lot more visually clear. Oh uh, my. <laughs> so it's not like evolutionarily designed to be able to fly so much as. It's it's evolved in favor of continuously reaching high places and needing to jump off of it. I don't know if I would say continuously. I think whenever it knows that it's about to turn into a corn egg, it goes up high. Oh, and okay. And then when it's morphing into its parachute form, it's already up like a high elevation. <laughs> so then it just drifts down to start the cycle anew wherever it lands. Oh, okay. After it uh, attracts a mate. Or something yeah because it needs to go up high because that way uh, otherwise predators would get to it oh wow you, yeah you i was really going to give it some type of, of legs but i think i think it's just going to be a kind of an immobile creature oh okay yeah that's that's <laughs> beneficial to staying alive right i mean some 
ocean animals completely metabolize their brain for energy so like is this really that weird is it really <laughs> i don't know bowling pin chicken with corn arms and a parachute growing from it <laughs> i think that's yeah, and the parachute is like not organic material it's made out of uh plastic oh <laughs> <laughs> that's a tarp <laughs> how does it if it's not organic how does it is it one is it the only creature able to generate inorganic materials from its organic yeah, it self? Yeah, it synthesizes it inside the egg. Oh my god! <laughs> and these little hairs on top of the uh, pineapple that senses a really strong breezy day, so it knows when to come out. <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> the wind will catch me now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's. It- it just baffles me because you put so much thought into some things, but so little thought into others. The little thought begets the big thoughts. <laughs> it's only after I have to like show my work is when I start to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is All right, great. That's, uh, that's me. I think we should move on to you before that wheel timer strikes. Okay, let's do it. All right, random animal generator, give it to me. A meerkat. All right, meerkat. Uh, what do they look like again? They probably look like something or other. Okay, um, they've got their little eyes, a nose, and uh, they're kind of like... <laughs> oh, there goes the timer. Okay. Oh, boy. Time for the wheel. Random timer goes off during an episode. We get the wheel, and I have to edit my drawing uh, based on the results. Here we go, spinning the wheel. Will it be add text from add a random text. sentence generator? Okay, I I like this I one because um it just recontextualizes the drawing in whatever mm-hmm. weird way. So let's see what happens. Okay, so many random generators. Yeah, I've got like eight of them pulled up. One, two, three, go. A quiet house is nice until you're ordered to stay in it for months. <laughs> <laughs> So that's just going to be like the caption to this metamorphosis. Yep. All right. I love it. Um, we have to write it all out. We're just gonna, we're just gonna speed through this. Yeah. This is a strangely topical sentence. Yeah. I wonder if they added that in there in 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 response to these trying times we live in. I I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, back to the meerkat then. I'm, okay. I'm trying to like you this... got your eyes, your nose, your little cheeks. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way to distinguish it from, like, a raccoon, because they kind of got very similar features. Yeah, they do. I think even, like, the fur is colored black, but not a whole lot. I don't know if there's much I can do about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be very raccoony. Are they, like, they kind of give off, like, a skinnier vibe. So maybe if I'd make yeah. the cheeks less full and just kind of go for... The, the nose and the mouth, like, come to, like, a point, but you don't have to, like, show that. Too late. I'm doing Straight it. head on. There, there. Yeah. Okay. Do they have a tail? I'm just gonna put a tail thing there. <laughs> there. Tail. Third foot. <laughs> Mirror cat. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> right there. So, what kind of incubation stage would a meerkat have? Okay. They live in caves. So, let's try to go a bit, a bit different with this because we, we've already got like okay food produced as a form of shell Mm -hmm. let's say hmm it's a mammal let's have it uh uh, roll up into a ball and puff up its fur and kind of just become a furry egg in that way so (laughs) okay (laughs) i don't know if there's like a a visually appealing way to draw this though like i'm just gonna Uh, i'm imagining like it's kind of like one like a dandelion head it's its face will just be poking out here oh that's adorable (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh the fur becomes very sharp in order to protect itself does it become poisonous yeah it could develop a poison why not very uh slow acting poison so that um the animals re- really regret that they messed with this all right so i moved the text all right so I guess we can move on to the final stage of this evolution then, right? Yeah, it, uh, you can only use 20% of what a meerkat is. The rest of it has to be new. Exactly. Okay, so 
again, I'm going to try to subvert things at least a little bit. Uh, I don't want to just have a repeat of your uh, amazing, wonderful, uh, <laughs> definitely expected drawing. I would hope that you wouldn't do exactly what I did. <laughs> well, like the method of like putting the face in there and just having things uh, different. Aspects oh, okay. Of the okay. So instead, I'm going to have like the little uh, feats here. <laughs> All right. So let's figure that's, out. Let's figure out what to do. That's our from meerkat. There. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to think. Evolutionary advantages. What What have we got on the table? Um, well, normally they all look. They are lookouts for each other. They constantly survey the savanna for predators. Oh yeah. So maybe it gets like more eyeballs. That's a good idea. So okay, I got it. I got three things now that I want to add to add to this and uh, add to this creature to make it more survivable. Okay. Okay. Feature the first, longer. Um, you know what? I'm actually <laughs> going to. This is going to be weird and hard to draw. Hold on. Let me think. Oh no. How this would work. There oh, no. we go. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's got a spring-like sp body. Yeah. That way, it doesn't really have to like put itself at risk. Exactly. You can spring up if necessary. Yeah. And when it's looking up, it could spring down back to its feet to escape predators. Exactly, exactly. God, this is like the perfect animal right here, I gotta say. This is where it all is all leading to this. <laughs> this whole game we call Earth. Yeah. Coiled meerkat. Everything was leading to this. So the eyes, um, are there, oh, I guess bigger eyes in general just mean better for the dark. I'm just gonna keep normal sized oh, yeah. eyes. Um, it's looking pretty spidery. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's just got mold uh, omnidirectional eyes um they grow okay. wherever um here's its nose <laughs> and um just like right that's <laughs> yeah it doesn't they're all they look pretty chill like he's not seeing anything dangerous right now uh they each need to have eyebrows <laughs> there we go and even though the original beer cat did not yeah i mean that's a an another evolutionary feature <laughs> The ability to express themselves better. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so multiple eyes, longer body, and I think flight might be a bit overrated uh, for an additional trait after metamorphosis. So I'm going to go with uh, aquatic features. Okay. I mean, it could arguably jump really high. Yeah. So it doesn't... Just like the same thing as flight. It doesn't need to fly. So instead, it's going to have a flipper tail and gills. You know, for all those oceans in the savannah. <laughs> yeah. So just just in case it needs to go for a long swim, <laughs> it's there. You know, it has it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is an apex. I love that right single here. dew drop fin on top of its head. <laughs> it's like that little rudder that steers it underwater. Yeah. It's the fiercest swimmer in the seas. I mean, most of the swimming power comes from the tail. Let's admit it. Uh, these fins are mm -hmm. just for steering. You know, now that you made me think of it, the whole body shape kind of looks like the uh, shape that they used in the Angry Beavers cartoon. Oh, yeah? Hmm. I, I have you never seen of, that? I didn't have cable growing up, but I, I do remember some, like, shots of that. Yeah. It's a bit of an older cartoon, so. I can see that. Give you for not seeing it. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a single additional feature that would make it stronger. If you drew spots on the coil, it would look like a boa constrictor is just strangling it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to figure out how I can make it feel, look more connected, but I don't know if there's a way I can do that. I'm not... uh, I would put little fur spots, like three little tufts here and there, and put it on the coil as well. You might have to erase part of the line. That's a good idea. Let's just uh, put tufts of fur yeah. here and there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of works. There he goes. Now that's an animal. That is indeed an animal. There's no surpassing this. Well, We've done it. Darwin would not argue with you. Yeah. He would see this creature and like, be like, my system has been perfected. You've done well, sir. And the animal would talk yeah, back to him. Yeah, it's like that shut up Hayao Miyazaki, but it's Darwin and he says evolution was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he invented it just like Hayao Miyazaki invented <laughs> anime. Once he named it, he invented it. It manifested then and there. Yeah. <laughs> Ideas give form. Well, that was a lot of fun. Which animal would, would win in a fight between mine and yours? Ooh. Don't even answer that. It would be yours. 
Yeah, I gotta say, as far as like combat features go, spring loaded attacks. I don't know if you can beat that. Plus, your guys are well, mobile. Mine's really immobile, but it, it can emit gas spores. <laughs> oh, it can. Okay, you're just adding on features. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think yours could get in and out of the the spore cloud pretty easily. Yeah, it just needs to spring it, it over the headbutt, it. then spring back. <laughs> Use agility to up his speed. Exactly. Also, <laughs> um, also he's got head spikes. <laughs> okay. Now he just wins flat out. <laughs> I mean, if it's for first primary com- it's if primary combat is going to be headbutting, it needs spikes on its head. That's true. That's the law of nature. It just kind of makes shish kebab out of other creatures. Exactly. Eats them. Like it could have or, a unicorn no, horn, but that would get in the way of the fin. So that's all it can do. It's really actually do. a vegetarian though. So it just does it purely as defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any, there, there's no murder in this society of, uh, of advanced meerkats. It's always self-defense. <laughs> all right, dude. I think that wraps up uh, prompt. We've done it. Is there anything you want to say or do to close out the show? Um, oh, yeah. I figured out that this makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's got he's to stay in his cocoon for months. Yeah. Poor guy. His parents are like, you, need, you can't leave your room. It's too dangerous. You can't leave your spiky poison cocoon. Not until you grow six more eyes and fins. <laughs> when is that going to happen, Mom? <laughs> everyone grows differently i mean your father didn't get his six eye until he was almost an adult and remember how your uncle got seven eyes well we were all surprised there <laughs> looking at your drawing and there's clearly eight well six, i said six additional eyes thank you oh okay 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 <laughs> so, yeah i think that wraps her up and uh the only thing i can think of is maybe a question for comments uh we need ideas for prompts my prompt list is running dangerously <laughs> low i've only got like four left someone help us we've made two episodes we've got four left we'll pay you an exposure <laughs> we'll let everyone know your name but not where to find you because we're not if that we generous. use all six props before we you know get new ones then the show just is dead in the water yeah uh we can't create a new, a new video until then so Frankly, uh, it's your fault if you don't get the content when you want it. 